Thanks very much, Congressman Quigley, and thanks for this hearing. I'm not going to repeat what he said. I think most of us understand the amount of student loan debt is growing, the percentages of default are growing, and we are finding students stuck with debts that are treated extraordinarily under the law. Keep this in mind. As of 2005, the bankruptcy code was changed. I voted against this. And we gave a special privilege, a special treatment to private student loan debt. Currently, if you were to declare bankruptcy in over your head, can't pay your bills, there are some debts which will survive. Before the bankruptcy code was changed, those debts were pretty obvious. They included taxes that were owed, child support and alimony, and government student loans. End of story. Then in 2005, that was amended to include private student loans. Not your car, not your home, not the money you borrowed for your boat, not your credit card debt. All those are dischargeable. But when it comes to this category of debt, private student loan debt, the special interest groups in Washington carved out a place in the bankruptcy code that no other private debt enjoys. Uh, the for-profit side of it, I think, is exploiting this thing to a grim level that uh, we ought to take notice of and change. Senator Tom Harkin with the Senate Health Committee issued a report uh, two weeks ago, I think it was, and I'm, I'm sure that my colleagues have seen it or uh, read about it, uh, in which he's analyzed all these schools and what they're doing across America. Federal government cannot escape, escape this bottom line. We are complicit in this. We are subsidizing these for-profit schools. 80, 85, 90, 95% of their revenue comes from the federal government. We send money to schools that, in fact, accredit themselves, because nobody else would. These schools end up charging young people, like the Institute of Art of Chicago. Oh, did he say the Art Institute? No, the Institute of Art of Chicago in Schaumburg has a culinary course. One of the students was picketing me at one of my hearings on student loans. Said Durbin is unfair to students. Said, how much are you paying in tuition for your two-year culinary course? $57,000. I said, what will your first job pay? He said, maybe $25,000. Said, how are you going to do this? He'd never thought about it. He was doing what he thought was the right thing. This hearing is long overdue. We need many more like it. We need parents and students to stand up and say, this is an outrage. We have got to get the cost of higher education under control, and we've got to go after the bad actors who are exploiting these kids and their families.